Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. So this video is about the requirements to get into the University of the Gambia. It will be a detailed video on the computer science part because that is what I applied to and that is what people ask me the most computer science department but I'll give a general explanation on how to get into the University of the Gambia so stay tuned if you like contents like this don't forget to like this video subscribe and comment step one is your was the result obviously you have to be done with school like from grade 1 to 12 you have to complete the 12 years of studies then you do your wasi obviously when you do your wasi you receive your results and the minimum requirement is five credits you have to have like at least five credits including maths and english in order to apply to the university of the Gambia. so for the computer science students it is like you will be on a more advantageous side if you are a science student so if you're a science student or not like you have or a technical student maybe you have like chemistry biology physics and for the maths it will make you like it will give you a higher chance to get into the computer science department but when you are not from the science field too it's not a big deal you can obviously get into computer science so let's say you are not a your science student in high school you did like arts or commerce you can apply to computer science so when your results are that good or your grade in maths is really good they might take you into computer science but when they don't take you into computer science like in computer science we have three departments we have like the computer science department, the information system department, and the telecommunication engineering department. So you can enter into any of these departments. For the first, second, and the first semester of third year, we do the same courses. Everything is only at the end of third year and fourth year that we focus on our majors. So you can apply to either of these departments in the computer science field. So And when your grades are really good in in university itself you can later move into to majoring computer science so the difference is just the major that you do at the end so when you don't want to major in the field that you are accepted in you can change that anytime but obviously your grades have to be good in university for them to accept you into another field that you are not given admissions to so that applies to any other field as well like for example you want to study biology or you want to study another field that maybe your worst result did not reach that level i have other friends that start with other courses like developmental studies majoring in english like you don't have to necessarily have all the requirements in the beginning you can go into a uh, course that has a lower requirement depending on what you get so you apply to just focus on the school that you want if you don't have the requirements to apply to the field that you want apply to the field that have less requirements the field that less people go to so when you get there you can work on your grades at university itself then apply with the results that you have in in your school or some might, some might require you to sit down for a private was so even though you are to start university so in university there are gr courses and there are departmental courses this gr courses everyone do it so you can start university go into the uh, field that is in your department but it's not your goal so you do this general courses in the meantime you go and do private wars if it is required of you then you continue so you don't have to like sit down and do private wars then move ahead it's not like that you'll be wasting your own time just start university just apply and they will let you know what you have to do so if you have any further question on that area just put it in the comment section you you want to re apply to your desired field now you can go on to the website of the university of the gambia there is not much information there and it, they don't like frequently 
update their website that's the thing so you can also go to the university itself and ask them like direct questions or you, you can ask me in the comment section below if i have the answers to obviously i will answer you so you now decide on the course that you want to do now is to make a payment to any trust bank branch in the gambia so this payment is normally 900 you pay 900 at any trust bank branch to receive a code for your registration online so when you pay this you go on google and just type admissions to utg obviously you will see apply apply now on their website or just i cannot put a link in my description now because i don't have like enough engagements on my youtube channel but just type on google admissions to utg and you definitely see the page obviously easy to find and you will with that code that the university will send you after by the payment one the 300 is for the code and the 600 if is for verifying your wasi result so utg checks your result with wasi to see that it is authentic so you paid 900 already you get your code obviously it's now time to apply online so this application is 100 percent online you don't have to go to the school for them to take you or anything i did my own by myself and it is pretty easy and way forward there is nothing complicated about the application you are not required to write like essays or bring in reference letters like other universities outside there there's nothing like that they just ask you about your information pretty simple application so now i will be taking telling you about like the documents and the things that you need for this application so there are basically four main things that you need for this application and it is really easy so obviously your wasi result and number two is your identification you know any university they want to make sure that you are from that country or you are either an international student so if you're an international student obviously you pay like more tuition so but the majority of people that go to university of the gambia they are basically gambians we don't have a like large international most of the internet i don't think we have like much international students like people that move from other countries don't think so even it's their small percentage so obviously you have to show your identification either by your national id passport or birth certificate so and the third one is the receipt of your payment that you made fourth one is your passport size photo so after providing all of this information you choose the major that you want the application is steps and when you are done you submit your application you submit your application online the time before they accept you and it will take like few weeks then you can go back to your application and see what is the status so mine if i can remember i went back and i see like shortlisted so that is the time that they are really looking into things before they take you so when you see they are shortlisted within few days they will send you an email of your acceptance letter so when you are accepted they will be sending you they will create a university like email for you to use so that they will be sending you information on what also it's not just wasi if you are from like international schools that don't do wasi you can use the school result that you use and they are also arabic students it's not only wasi i think ibrahima asked me this in the comment section and i was on exams and i'm still on exams but i'm almost done so thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for supporting the little channel <laughs> and i hope this video helped you out and i hope like you all were uh you all will be able to find benefit in it 
and it will help you in your application process. Wishing you all the best and hope to see you all soon on campus. Thank you so much for stopping by and if at all there are other questions that you have, like I said before, put them in the comment section. I'll be forever ready to make a video on it. Obviously, they are all video ideas and like if at all you want to see other things on campus or you want to see other things around, just put them down. I will make videos on that. Obviously, we are always looking forward for ideas and anything good like that. Thank you so much. Bye. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below and subscribe. It's Grown Girl. Let's make, uh, what's the, we have a logo. So you can log into the home page of this YouTube channel and make changes to my profile and the banner. So the motto of this channel is Grown Girl. Let's make it in life. So obviously all of us here will make it in life and we'll document it. I'm tired of talking.